Hello and welcome to KDT Fishing, welcome to another video and welcome to Fir Tree Fishery. Uh, we're, we're now here, we've arrived. That's the fishery. I'm on peg free, which I'll show you in a minute, but I'll just quickly turn the camera around and show you the sign for the fishery. So there you go. It's also known as Scott's Pine Lodge. There's the information that you'd need to know if you wanted to. Just pause the video and have a look at the rules. Some of them have changed slightly. But yeah, I've pretty much unpacked the car. Peg free is over there. And I'm just taking the last bits round to the peg. As always guys, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions and Hopefully, we catch. Bring me some luck. So we're here now. I'm on peg four. And it is on peg three. And this is the lake. It's not a massive lake. It's uh, newly been dug out, so that's why it's quite muddy. But. There's some stunning fish in here. Carp, sturgeon, some really big catfish. And even the sturgeon go to over 30 pound. And there's actually more fish to come. So, peg four. I've got the other camera. I'm about to set up and get them rods in quick. I'm just going to quickly show you my bait and my rig on one rod. This is scalded halibut pellet with a load of total baits, very cherry glug inside it. Scalded it last night, boiled the kettle, load of hot water on it, voila. And then this is my rig. So I've got some Nash braided hook link. I've got a long shank fox armor point hook. With a little kicker, got a bait screw which is running up and down the shank of the hook and I'm going to put a wafter on this now, um, a manila wafter and then there's the fox inline method it's it's running so it's safe, that's one of the rules on here and then one of the other rules on here is rig tubing which I've got there with a tungsten bead just on the end of the of the tube in there to sink it down so I'm just gonna get this wrapped up like so just nice and soft to begin with and then I'm gonna gently get the wafter on this screw now and just 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 gently pop it into the method there so it's like that so when it hits the water a lot of it will break up to begin with, some of it will cloud up and my wafter should just gently fall next to where the method lands. That's the idea behind it. There's the wafters. I am just going to chop the wafter down a little bit as well. So I took bits, of the wa bits off the wafter. Gently shove the wafter into the method, and this one's ready to cast in. Right, just going to update you throughout the day. Nothing to update you on though, just yet. I have had a few bleeps on the left rod. I actually caught the bobbin lift up a bit, and that was on the method feeder with the scalded pellet. On the right rod, Got the berry cherry by total baits and then I've just been flicking some halibut pellet over the top just little and often like you would in a in a match or waggler fishing so we'll see how that goes see if we can create some activity in the swim my right rod is actually towards the shed the reflection of the shed here I've seen a couple of fish move over there and then the left rod 
is towards the middle of these two points so maybe towards the other shed from that angle of my rods so I'll continue to update you throughout the day like I said I'm gonna go and get a brew now that Andy's made and hopefully my rod screams off while I'm there out here in the wild and some animals have been spotted in the natural habitats you can see there's a gorilla over there just watching the scenery and enjoying himself and then to the left we have a tiger I think he's on the hunt and then to the left again we have a croc Bloody hell mate, the place is full of wild animals, the only thing we've not seen yet is a bloody fish, but I have had like five runs and struck into nothing be there, so you'll have to come back on this one and hopefully this time not show you a gorilla, a crocodile or a bloody tiger but a bloody fish. Stay tuned. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Bloody sturgeon, mate. Twenty-two fourteen. What's your sling with? Uh, one and a half, so. 21. Do you want to just get low to film it? There you go. Beautiful. You got it all in? Yep. First fish of the day. Just film it getting back. You have to run for a bit, please. Hold it in until it, it swims. I just move mine backwards and forwards a bit. Just keep moving it backwards and forwards. Well, in pop. There we go. Tell me. High five. Come. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Doing the honours. <laughs> Don't stand on my rod, break my rig because you. So, what was it? One and a half for the net, for the sling? Yeah, so 20, 22. So it was 21. 14. So 21, 4. Yeah. And there's 30s in here, isn't there? 42, I think, is the biggest. 42 pound sturgeon? No, sorry, 38 is the biggest, but the two, there's two 45ers going in. Bloody hell. So 48, stu uh, 38 sturgeon? Yeah. How big are the cats? Cats at the present were up to 58. 58? Yeah, and the cat were up to 30. Nice. I'll have me some of that. Still only the one fish at the moment. And absolutely nothing on the right rod. So, I'm going to change it from this very cherry bait two a zig it's going to be about four foot in length and we can only try that's all you can do
more fish to report on yet guys but I'm just sat in Andy's peg while we put some sausage and egg the artifal playing with the method feeder so I had that all morning hit into you know struck into it a few times with nothing on the other end so before that sturgeon I decided that until it took line I wasn't going to strike anything and that didn't take line so I'm putting it down to just the, the sturgeon maybe knocking the method around with the fins because of how they feed oh that's the, that's the zig rod liner maybe so yeah I'm only eating something that takes line because Andy and the other guys that are on here have all been getting the same striking into nothing so if in doubt wait till the line pulls out See that 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 took no line either. If in doubt, wait till the line pulls out. Pull it. Come on, fish, pull it. Still gets you excited though. <laughs> the commentary over the bobbins. Oh no, nearly. And they lost the fish about five minutes ago as well. Just caught that on camera. By the feels of it, it could have been a cat. It did say it felt big. But unfortunately it came off. It would be nice to see some other species today. Run it on you, art fish. Film whichever. It's not recording, no. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, Bobby. Fish. Oh yeah, looks like one at thirty or something. See this bloke's a bit of a cunt, he's recording everything he fucking catches. Because he doesn't <laughs> usually catch, so he has to fucking record it for prosperity. You heard it from me, Andrew Vickers. Huh? Has it got voice on it there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you heard it from me. Keith B. Thompson is a bit of a cunt. <coughs> 30 pound, 2 ounce, 28 and a half. No, that's with it zeroed. Go back a bit as well though, get it all in, don't fall in. Yeah. It's not zero in scales, by the way, people. The fish actually weighs two pound. Get low. Get it all in. <laughs> yeah. See how the stupid cunt releases it in my peg. Just can take 
edges to kick off from. Call me now. Can I call him? The fish was only two pounds. I released it back in your pig so you can catch it too. <laughs> right, just a quick update for you. Since the uh, 30 pound sturgeon, I've not had anything, but I have lost fish. And they've both been on the four foot zigs. And I think they were both catfish, which I can't believe to be honest. And I've had catfish before, but I've never had a catfish on a zig. One of them was definitely a catfish because I got it into the margins and it looked about three, four pound. But the other one was a much bigger fish. It was solid, I couldn't move it, I couldn't, it just wouldn't budge. And as it was moving, it was just taking line. And that was on the zig as well. I think it was a cat because I had some slime on the line as I did with the previous cat. So I'm just guessing, but I think it was a second catfish. I've put the zig out again and hopefully we either get a catfish or some carp because I've not seen a carp today yet. But I've got one of my rods in the usual spot in the centre here and then the zig, I've had the two takes at, towards the aerator. Um, I did have it over here in this near margin but I was having no joy. So I moved it and I've had about four takes all together, struck into two, nothing there, two fish hooked, but both come off. Keep trying, I'll keep updating, keep liking the video, keep subscribing. Coming towards the end of the session now and still no more fish to update on. More runs, but no fish, unfortunately. But we've got about 50 minutes left we have to be off here by seven. It's now ten past six ish. Uh, so we'll see. The rods are still in the water, so we've still got a chance. And hopefully, I update you with a fish before we go home. Fingers crossed. I've got to complete my video, haven't I? Nothing special. I've been embarrassed. <laughs> But it is a fish to report on before I go on. Saves a blank, doesn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lovely little fish. Little, little ghosty. Shame about the cum that's holding it. But... <laughs> right, that's the end of the session. Classic rods on the floor to try and get one last bite. <laughs> but nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like rating if you did, because it does help with the videos. And subscribe if you're new, because it's nice to see the channel grow. And the bigger it grows, the more videos we'll get. Anyway, that's me, two sturgeon, one carp. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video real soon. See you later, guys.